Hi guys, welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge! Now, do you notice something a little different around here? Yes! The LaFarts have moved, and that's because, surprise surprise, the new uh, Magic expansion? Game pack? I can't keep track of what's what. The Realm of Magic just came out, so there's a whole new little neighborhood to live in, and I built a house this morning. I woke up at like 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, there is a roof on here, I just don't know why it's not showing up. But anyway, yes, I did build a pink house, thank you for asking. Here's the house. I did it one story because toddlers, it's just really difficult to get toddlers to, uh, go upstairs. They have to be a certain movement skill, so I'm just like, whatever. But oh my god, I love this little house! I love all the new furniture, all the new decorations and stuff they have in this expansion, and then of course I built a pool in the backyard, swing sets. It's really super cute. And this is my first time actually playing this expansion, so I don't even know, like, what is different. I know you can learn, like, spells and shit. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna go that far with it in this series, but, uh, anyway, yeah, super interesting. So, Mara's pregnant with Vlad's baby, that's right, oh, yeah. It's Friday morning, my kids have gone to school. God, I love this house, it's so cute. We got Crystal and Caitlin, where are the babies? Oh god, they're over there. Oh, come on. Asher's very hungry, even though he wasn't even crying or anything. And Axel's very hungry, too, what the hell? They're not even crying, it's so stupid. The welcome wagon's here, everybody. Buddy, what's up? Oh, I see two boys. Yes, I do. Tomax and Daryl. You know we get some babies out of those two. Damn, immediately a steamy exchange. And you know what? I don't know if either of these guys are married to either of these chicks. Amara, change out of your hospital gown. Oh, she brought us a fruitcake. Isn't that nice? Ask if he's single first. Oh, he's single. Hell yeah. My boy Tate. Carl and Kenzie, neither of them got A's today, and now it's the weekend. Way to go! Who is in my yard? Who are you? Who's crying? Oh my god, they can't even age up until Sunday! Well, we're right next to a place where we can go fishing, which is cool. What is this? Who's at my house? Fuck you, Ricardo. I don't know how you're even still alive. That's so mean. But he's- I mean, he must be a vampire or something. What is this? Look for frogs! Amara? Go look for frogs right now. Well, cool, I guess. I'm assuming we can probably go fishing somewhere around here. Hello, man. You are a man. Amara, you know what to do. Who is he? Morgan. He's an interesting fellow, isn't he? Hurry up, Amara. We have to go to Breon's thing. Breon is having a charity benefit. <laughs> Don't throw up, Amara. Hello, Hugo. Why are you so sad, Hugo? I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to do here, just find a couple more suitors. Let's go home, Amara. <laughs> oh god, who died now? Sabrina! Oh, Rest in peace, Sabrina. That's very sad. Oh my god, these babies just don't stop. Sheldon! Oh, my boy Sheldon. I liked both Sabrina and Sheldon, that's really sad. Oh my god, Crystal's ready to age up, guys! Caitlyn is still struggling a little bit, but she'll get there. Anyway, we should, uh... Well, do we have a cake? That's the question. I see a cake! We can at the very least age her up, and then maybe she can go to school the next day. Oh god, Amara, hurry, because the other baby's crying now. Hooray! Okay, Crystal. Just a reminder, I do use a random number generator for every aspiration that I pick. Crystal is an artistic prodigy, and one, two, three. And she's extra! I love that. That's so funny. Okay, Amara, you need to go fix this baby. Oh, hell no! Kenzie, stop! Crystal has little elf ears! Oh my god! She's a little elfie! Oh my god! She's wearing little flippers! <laughs> oh, for fart's sake, kid! I just got done- Oh my god! Can everyone just leave me alone for 30 seconds so I can take care of these damn babies? Who's coming over here now, bitches? Not you, Carl! Uh-uh! I think what I'm gonna do is put the babies in Amara's room and then lock the door for everyone who's not Amara. Oh, I can't because the computer's in there. God, fucking fart. It's okay, these babies are gonna age up in a few hours anyway. Cute. No, I don't really want to go hang out. <laughs> Hello, who is that at the door? Toby boy! Oh my god, both the babies are crying again! There's too much going on right now, I can't handle it! Kenzie, stop! Age the babies up. Jeez. Alright, Asher. One, two, three. Asher is fussy. Great. I love fussy babies. And Axel. One, two, three. 
Also fussy! Great! Fussy babies are my freaking favorite! Then we have to age up um, that other kid. <laughs> Caitlyn. Okay, Caitlyn is also an artistic prodigy and one, two, three. She's a Sagittarius. Very impatient and blunt, emotional, closed off, and they're afraid of commitment. Great! Oh my gosh. Caitlyn, you look like your mommy! So crazy. I love my crazy looking kids this episode. Oh, we're not, she's not even in the third trimester. How? This is the slowest pregnancy I've ever seen in my life. I'm still gonna move these babies in here. My kids don't need to freaking play on the computer. Oh, what are these little things flying around? Oh, they're pigeons? <laughs> Is that treasure chest? No. <laughs> well, it seems like if you had like the collecting profession, you do pretty well for yourself out here. Private club. That sounds interesting. No thanks. <laughs> Who's here? Is that you, Santana? You found me. Santana found us, you guys. Just can't escape her. It's like, hey mom, I went to the old house and no one was there. It's our little Brian boy. Since I've moved here, more of my kids have been visiting. We haven't even been here very long. Who the fuck is in my yard? Someone was walking around in my yard. I realized I, I never put a radio in here. What are we gonna do without a freaking radio? We can't have dance parties without a radio. Oh sure, rebate day, just as I buy a gigantic house. Oh God, Amara's in labor, oh God. You know, she's only gonna be having one baby since, you know, we couldn't get anyone out of the house. So damn, it's gonna be a minute before we can get pregnant again. Fuck. Oh. Okay, all my kids went to school. Study yeah, hard, study amazing. hard, study hard. My children. Oh my god! Vlad's baby turned out to be a girl. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so usually I am two episodes behind on names. But I just feel like I have to do the latest episode just for this one baby because there were a lot of people giving me suggestions for names for Vlad's baby. So let me see. Kayla Hawk suggests um, Akasha for a girl because a queen of the damned. It has five upvotes, which is a lot for our sweet little tiny family. Uh, so I think we're going to go with that just because it seems like a lot of people like that idea. Akasha Lafarge. Children, why is everyone crying over here? Can everyone just calm down? Hello, my boy. Toby, are you gonna be the next Santana? Cause you've been here like three times since we moved here. Kids are home from school. Do I have a student? Hell yeah! You know I do! My little alien babies. Time to age up some aliens. I'm so excited. Why, why is she all the way over there? Okay, Carl. With the uh, new expansion, they had a couple new like branches off of the aspirations. So 11. Nature. Oh yeah, see, purveyor of potions is one of the new ones. But anyway, let's see. Four. Shut up! He's a purveyor of potions! <laughs> or potions, not portions. That's funny. Um, he wants to learn every potions recipe and craft each one! He's an alien. <laughs> That's fine. He's a genius. And one, two, three. Gloomy. Alright. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> now this one, it's her turn to blow out the candles and sing happy birthday. Here she goes. And she's gonna turn into an adult. Okay, Kenzie. I mean, like, is it really random anymore, Google? Because seriously, look at that, an alien bartender. She has a small bladder, and one, two, three. She's an insomniac. These sims barely sleep. They're usually up in the wee hours of the morning playing video games or randomly writing something. All right, so she's a bartender that never sleeps. Cool. Amara, fix this freaking baby. Damn, she's so pretty. So now, with that all being done, let's give these kiddos some makeovers, shall we? I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back here. I basically just made Carl into a little emo alien with a black hoodie, you know. And then Kenzie, fuck man, she's so beautiful. So I just kind of made her into a hot bartender alien. I don't know, but she's beautiful, I love her. So I'm just gonna have him skill up the easiest way I know how, which would be to play some video games. And then Kenzie, well, she can tend bar. That skill usually goes up pretty fast. Just the sooner we can get our kids out of the house, the better, you know? Is basically what it comes down to. Now, what the hell is Amara doing in here? 
She's dancing in the bathroom? All right, Kenzie. She got up her mixology skill really fast. And I'll have her do her project too, just to make sure she ages up. Oh god, crying baby. Oh yeah, girl. So at the very least, hopefully she gets out. Yes, Carl, you have to do your homework before you go to school. But everyone else, study hard, study hard, study hard. It is very important that you get out of my house. By the way, Vlad's baby was baby number 87. So we got 13 more. <laughs> Yay, Kenzie, my girl! Oh, Amari, you should have been making a cake this whole time. Oh, well. King Carl didn't age up. I don't care. I'm just happy that Kenzie gets to leave. My star student make a wish. Yay, okay. One, two, three. Kenzie's last skill is that she is a dance machine! That's so funny. That's awesome. I like Kenzie. All right, let's get her out. <laughs> There's only one sim left in the baby maker house. Where are they all going? Okay, we'll go live with your sisters. Bye. All right, who are we calling over, Amara? We gotta hurry up and get pregnant. How about Morgan, that weird looking guy? Sounds good. There he is. What's up, Morgan? Flirt. Amara, stop dancing and flirt. We must sit and chat so I can lock the door again. <laughs> Don't mind the crying baby in the corner. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Why doesn't he like us? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right. We are suggestive. That is great. No, 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 no. You're not leaving. The door is locked, first of all. Oh, come on. This guy's gonna be all difficult and shit. Oh my god, this baby. What is he doing? Oh, hiding? Hmm. Don't know where he went. Maybe he's just not single. He is single. Then what is the big deal? I just, I don't understand. I literally hate this guy. <laughs> oh, we can age this baby up. Okay, Akasha, one, two, three. Small bladder. Wah, wah. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> oh, he's flirty. Oh, God. Finally, God. No, Amara, 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 stop. No, oh my God. What is wrong with him? I mean, I've never had this much of a problem. This is so difficult. I don't even understand. See, aren't we having a good time here? Why is this such an issue? Why have we been doing this all night? Conversation is suggestive again. Oh my god, now who did? Dean, oh. Dude, you're not leaving until something happens here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna attempt our first kiss. I don't even care. Oh my god, who died now? Coraline, oh. Hell yeah! No, it only took all night. Good lord. Could he be any more difficult? Why can I only woohoo with him? Why can't I try for a baby with him? This simply won't do. All that work. Can I not have babies with whatever these people are? I don't understand. I'm so angry. <laughs> Why? I can't try for a baby with him. We don't have a full house, so I don't understand what's going on. Fucking whatever, man. Fine, leave. See if I fucking care. I bet none of my kids did their homework. Okay, Amara, you gotta call someone else over, dude, because... We gotta go out and meet someone. All right, everybody. Have a good day at school, I guess. Now, as for Amara, you need to go somewhere. Just go somewhere. Travel somewhere. I don't care. Kids can go to daycare. We're going to Windenburg. We're going to the ancient ruins. And the first man we see that we haven't had a baby with yet is gonna be the one. All right, where are my men at? <laughs> can go to this club meeting. I forgot we were even in a club. Paolo Rocca? Yep. Yeah, fuck off, Santana. Back we're back. trying to do something here. Right. Try for a baby in the closet. Hell yeah. That was so yeah, fast. You see how fast that shit goes? I cannot believe how fast oh, that right. went. Go pee on a stick, please. God, I cannot believe that we spent so much time. Actually, you know what? This Charlie chick is someone that uh, yeah. Kayla made for us too. And I know she can get us pregnant. Hang on, Amara. Why? Is this like the men's room or some shit? Like, what the hell? Hell yeah! Finally! I am so angry about how long that took. I think it's time we go home now, Amara. Alright. I. It's been so long since I even, like, checked up on these toddlers. Okay. They just pretty much need to be potty trained. I d can't believe I didn't even do that. Alright. Who got an egg? We got Carl. But, uh, looks like the other two twins still haven't aged up. Well, that's fine. Okay, Carl. One, two, three. He's a student. So basically, Carl just really likes to learn stuff. Oh, and he's also emo. Get out of my house. Oh, Poppy got old. No, I love her. You gotta keep sending people in to live with Andrea, you know? Gotta keep her spirit alive. Oh, Maki Mori, our favorite OBGYN. Passed away. Goodbye. Our vampire children should age up when they go to school today. I'm my little toddler twins. It's time to age them up. <laughs> or not. What the hell happened to all the cakes I've been making? This is just 
Redonkulous. Come on, Amara. This damn place is a mess. Where's my maid? There's my maid. <laughs> Asher is a social butterfly. And one, two, three. He's also extra. Okay, we got some extra kids today. Oh my god, he's so cute. And he's wearing highlight. Yes, queen. Axel's turn. Axel is a rambunctious scamp. And one, two, three. Also a genius. All right. Where the fuck is the maid at? Look at all the shit all over the floor. Where is she? She ain't even here. Look at how many messes are on the floor. I guess Amaro will clean up the mess. All of the messes. So many freaking messes that maids just can't clean up. Oh, did my kids age up or what? Oh, yeah. A students all around. Okay. Caitlin, you first. So many children aging up today. She wants to be a chef! And one, two, three. And she's clumsy. Oh, great. She'll be the clumsiest chef that ever lived. Yeah, we're all so happy for you. Asher, it's your turn. Wait, no, not Asher. No, 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 not Asher. Wait. Yes, Asher, right? No. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Woo. No, we need Crystal. Crystal is the one who needs to blow out the damn candles. Holy mackerel. Two. Anything's better than six. All right. She wants to be a bodybuilder. She's extra in one, two, three. She's a loner. All right. Well, she wants to just get buff by herself, I guess. All right. Oh, uh, let's go do some makeovers. All right. Be right back. Okay, that took forever. <laughs> Holy moly, so Caitlyn, she wants to be a bodybuilder, so I just kind of gave her some athletic garb. Athletic vampire garb, anyway, I guess. They're already vampires, so as soon as they age out of teenage dumb, we should be able to just move them in with the rest of the vampires, and yeah, so she's lovely. And then Christy, since she's extra, I just, I gave her pink hair, and I put a lot of piercings on her face, and I made her makeup bright and her eyebrows are pink too all her clothes are pink too you know or well extra anyway yeah so that's what's going on there i did it right when i was doing the makeovers but no crystal's the one who wants to be athletic i did give her pretty athletic garb too who the hell is here poppy poppy is that you oh my love poppy let poppy in this will probably be the last time we see her why all of a sudden that we're you know here living in this establishment do all my kids who never used to visit me before, now they suddenly want to visit me. I love Bobby. She's just gonna die soon. Amara, huh? what are you doing? Tate's here too. Aww. Crystal needs to just start getting that athletic shit going. Meanwhile, Caitlin can start reading about cooking. Crystal, I don't care how uncomfortable you are. You need to work out. I need one of these kids to get something to level three before they go to school. No, I don't want her to skip school. No. All right, so our teenagers aren't getting out of the house today. Still freaking C students? Oh my god. We got all weekend for y'all to get your shit together. Because now at this point, if we have twins, then we can't get pregnant right away again. Oh my god, Akash is ready. Wow. All right. Where's that cake at? Yeah. All right. Akasha still has a small bladder. Damn. Oh my god, she's got Vlad's nose. I'm pretty sure she's got his nose. And now we have the whole weekend to pretty much do nothing. Oh god. It's like Poppy came over to say bye to us one last time. Oh god, Poppy, I love you so much. She should be having a baby any time, and if it's a twin, which we pretty much have twins more often than not at this point. Probably because of that fertile trait that we bought with our little points. Wow, what kind of rewards can we get tomorrow now? We have 6,000 points. A money tree? Sure. Hopefully it doesn't die, right? Do you have to water a money tree? Probably. It's just a seed. Oh god. And now we're in labor. Wait, Amara, but can you wa can you water the money tree with your tears real fast? <laughs> Alright, it worked. She's just standing in a puddle of water. That's so funny. Was that Ghost Sheldon? Ghost Sheldon! Is he gonna deliver the baby? <gasps> Ghost Sheldon! 
Oh, I'm so happy! We have a boy! Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the episode before this. Just because I feel like that's what we should do. Because you all left me name suggestions here too, you know? Okay, Alicia in Family recommends either Alexander, which didn't we have one? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Russell, James, and Jasper. I kind of like the name Russell, because I know we haven't had a Russell yet. It's pretty much just a safe bet at this point. Look at that, a twin, but it's a girl. Okay, Shorty Cakes 2007 left me like my favorite idea. She said in honor of your anti-MLM, name a girl Posh, Lulu, or Mary Kay. <laughs> Let's do Mary Kay. <laughs> Mary Kay LaFarge. There we go, we got twins, and now we can't get pregnant until two days from now. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll end this episode here, and then I'm gonna play through the weekend by myself, just so we don't, like, get back into the next episode, and it's just like, hey, can't do anything still. So, um, but I won't get pregnant or anything like that. Um, but, yep, yeah, okay, I will be doing that. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time we got up to 89 babies today 89 we got 11 more oh my god okay peace bye and she